Four years ago, I designed, machined, and assembled my own distribution plate. A few days ago, I found the same distro in an old box and I thought, well, maybe I should use this in a new build since the one I built in a few years back didn't turn out that great. So I thought it would be better to not just use it in a build, but incorporate it with the old wall mounted frame that we built in in the past and use custom hardline tubing as well. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because that PC build video will be posted later this week. All right, so all was well until I leak tested the unit. Thank God I did because I found that this distro didn't hold any air and thus would have just leaked fluid all over my components hadn't I leak tested the system in the first place. Well, this sucks, I thought. So I decided I have to fix it and it was pretty clear where the issue was. Air was seeping through a portion of the O-ring right here because the original threads were becoming loose. The solution I came up with was to drill two bigger holes this time and use a bolt and a nut to compress the O-ring from either side and fix the leak. Make sure you stay until the end of the video where you'll see how we plan on incorporating this distro onto our wall mounted frame. Well, before we go any further, I should explain what a distro plate is for anyone new to custom water cooling. Think of a distribution plate as a large reservoir. Instead of a cylindrical one, it's usually flat and comes in many different designs. Us enthusiasts like it because it usually looks better in a case and because it provides many options when running tubing. You can be more creative and it is also convenient when choosing the order of your custom water cooling loop. Plus, it puts the liquid on display for everyone to see. All right, so I drilled two bigger holes and used a larger bolt and nut to compress the O-ring. Problem solved, right? Wrong. I found out that the air was also seeping through where the O-ring connects. Since this is a custom distro plate, I used a long thread of the O-ring and cut it just to size. However, at where the two ends meet, air was seeping right through. So I found some good old Gorilla Glue and sealed the distro plate up. Now it's time for the leak test. After 10 minutes, it actually passed, but barely though. I mean, look at the pressure meter. It doesn't hold air at the higher pressure we need, but it's still above that 0.3 bar. So let's just move forward. Now it's time to mount the distro to the wall mounted frame. And I have a pretty cool idea. What if the distro could act as a motherboard tray? And it'd be cool if the motherboard can be bolted straight to this distro plate. So check this out. I bolted the distro onto the frame, then carefully mounted this B660 motherboard with an i5-12600K CPU onto the distro. And guys, check how it turned out. All right, guys, I really like the way this thing turned out. Now, don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of improvements that we have to make, like getting rid of these old ketchup and mustard PSU cables. But I really like the way this mod turned out. And I'm glad I was able to incorporate this old four-year-old distro plate into this frame. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And guys, make sure to subscribe to see the full build video coming real soon.